Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, I will show you the functionality of the hide error text in the element settings of an input field. All right, so I have an email input field on the screen, and the reason that I chose email input field is that by default it comes in with the value rule of a valid email. So let's head over to its settings, interactivity, and we can see that the hide error text is ticked. Let's remove it. And let's show the valid text as well so we can see it clear. And I'll head over to the preview and refresh. And let's do something like so. This is not a valid email. So it gives me the immediate feedback of invalid value. And if you add any text with a value rule or a number with a value rule on it, if it doesn't match that value rule, it will give the user an immediate feedback of it not being valid. If I'll put in a valid email, I get a good message, and if I remove it, I get the invalid value, and obviously we can override what we're showing the user once that specific field is invalid. Okay, if we put this hide error text, and I'll refresh it, then if I do something like this, the user does not get an immediate feedback, but if we will try and push it to Salesforce, for instance, then the user will get a message, email field is invalid. So it's just the immediate feedback we will still validate it before pushing it to Salesforce and show the user a message of that field not, or more fields not being valid. And that's how it's done.